Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, so today I'm posting my first ever vlog. Um, I thought it would be fun to do like a behind the scenes of like Praise Dance Ministry. Um, so today I'm going to attempt to make my own um, dance garment and then I'm going to continue to practice for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be ministering at my mom's church for 31st night for New Year's Eve. So I'll take you guys with me as well. Um, so today I went to the fabric store. Um, I went to a new fabric store and it was quite expensive. I'm gonna try to put in um, a clip in here. Um, but yeah, it was expensive. So I got two yards of this fabric. Um, I don't know what this is called. I don't know what kind of fabric this is called. Um, yeah, I don't know. And yeah, I also bought um, these little like diamond, well, yeah, circle diamonds. Um, I figured to use to like decorate. And then I bought a glue gun. I believe I have one, but I don't know where it is. And I don't want to like, I don't want to like come home and then not have a glue gun and then not be able to make what I wanted to make. And then um, I got glue sticks. Even this was like $2.50. This was $7. And this was $10 a yard. Like I've paid in the past like $6 per yard. Um, and I got two yards of this. But I didn't want to have to travel to another side of the borough I live in um, just to get fabric. So I'm actually following a tutorial that I found online. So I've tried to make this before. But I didn't follow the tutorial. I just thought I, I figured out. I thought I could figure out how she did it just by like seeing the ending of it. But it was a big fail. But this time I'm going to try again. So it might come out good. It might come out bad. Um, who knows, right? But I'm going to pray, Lord, anoint my hands as I try to make an overlay. Because this fabric was not cheap. So, yeah. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to fold my fabric in half. Okay, fold my fabric in half like this. No, not like that. I have to fold it the long way. I was already messing up. I also don't go to this school anymore, guys. So don't try to find me there. <laughs> I graduated um, about almost five years ago. It's just so crazy that I'm that old. I just folded it. And then... I have to fold it again so first I folded it like this and now I have to fold it like this if that makes sense so okay all right so I don't remember what I have to do after this so I'm gonna go watch the video and I'll be right back I'll I'm gonna um link the video on the description box the video is actually in spanish so yeah okay so now i unfortunately do not have like a um like a chalk or anything so i'm gonna have to use like a pen this is not good so i'm gonna after i folded it all those times now i'm gonna measure 14 inches this is not a tutorial, please. So if it doesn't come out good, don't ask me questions. You're just seeing what I'm doing. Um, oh, it's so ghetto. Yeah.
right, so now after I cut on the sides, then I will cut here. So let's see. Please open up. Ugh, okay, I was so scared it was not going to work. Okay. Alright, so now we have two, two rect... Yeah. Oops. Yes, it is now. Alright, so I'm going... To, okay, maybe I never know this again. Remember, this is not a tutorial. So, uh, okay. so I put the two corners together and then I um, hot glued them. So that's really all that I did. You have to pray. The prayers of the righteous. The righteous are me and you. Those who have been made right with God. And he listens. He cares about the simplest of things. Even your little DIY overlay that you learned from some little girl on YouTube. I'm not a little girl, by the way, but you know what I mean. Now, so you guys can see what it looks like um, so far. Okay, so this is the final look. So I had to change into actual dance clothes so I put on my unitard and my black pants so that you guys could get the full um, idea of what it looks like so I put a safety pin under my arms here put a safety pin under my arms here um, I put on my belt and you guys can see it looks pretty good it's pretty good um, yeah, I really like how this looks here. Okay, this is up close. Yeah, so my vision was that I was going to wear it with white. Um, but I can't find my white, so it looks fine with black. So, where did I get this from? It's a... To sell Paris original. Okay, guys, so that was a lot of fun making um, the dress. I guess that's how some of you guys feel when you're making one of my tutorials. Your one thing's gonna work out, it's maybe not gonna work out, but it worked out um, for the glory of God. I told you guys when the righteous pray, God listens to you. So um, I'm very thankful it worked out. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna practice now the song. Um, comment below, what is your process for picking a song to minister to? Um, I asked this on my Instagram, follow me, dancingbyfaith underscore, and I got a lot of responses. Um, a lot of people were saying, you know, course prayer, um, they seek um, God for um, what it is that he wants to deliver, the message that he wants to deliver to his people. Um, someone said something really interesting and she said that it has to be a song that she's had an encounter with God through the song and I thought that was really good because like if a song hasn't ministered to you uh, I mean it might minister to somebody else but it first has to minister to you um, so yeah so I'm gonna dance to this song that I wanted to dance to this one song but I'm like uh is it really it? It was Moving Forward by um, Israel Houghton. Um, I thought it was like a beautiful message, you know, saying 
Um, you comes into it like I'm not going back and moving ahead. Jesus makes all things new. But as I was dancing to it, I'm like, eh. And then I was um going through my my Apple Music. It's so funny, like I'm always finding the songs to minister to on my Apple Music. And I came across this song, um, it's in Spanish actually. Um but it talks about how you will see the glory of God. And the beginning of the song, she talks about how, like, you know, she felt like she went through a lot of trials. She felt lonely. And then, like, there's, like, God's voice starts to come in the song. It's like her having a conversation with God. And she says that she heard a voice that told her that, like, God has brought her to the desert um, to show her that, like, he is her strength. Um, that he is everything, like, that she needs and then like god was also telling her like oh you know i bought you here i'm gonna change your story i'm gonna open the red sea for you i'm gonna show myself strong so i just felt like so that song really ministered to me um i don't usually listen to that song i haven't listened to that song in many probably like months or even a year um so it really ministered to me and i really feel like um, it will minister to others and like as I'm dancing I'm prophesying to myself um, I'm prophesying that also like God will change my story um, that God will do a new thing in my life and God will do, change the story of those who are there um, at the church as well that in 2021 those who have been struggling those who have been without employment, those who have been in disappointment, um, that God will change their story, that God will give you one, give them a new song to sing. Um, one of my favorite scriptures is Psalms 40. Let me look it up because I don't want to misquote it. But it talks about how like God took them, took you out of the miry clay. It says, I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock, and he gave me a firm place to stand. There's another version that says, um, he lifted me out of a horrible pit. Do you know what a pit is? Mud and mire is like, mud and mire is like quicksand. Like, you're drowning, you're stuck. Um, has anyone ever felt like that? Um, and then my favorite part of the, the song, the psalm is, he put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. You know, a new song in your mouth is like, you know those people who they're always like, oh, you know, in 1955, Joe, he left me, and I have been this and this and that. And people that are always retelling the same sad story, or always telling the story of heartache, or always retelling the story of, oh, my medication, and always telling this story, and it's like, oh, you know, instead of saying that same old story, like, God can give you a new story. God can give you a story of you're healed. You know, God can give me a story of like, you know, I couldn't find a job, I was unemployed to, I'm, I'm having a job that I'm not even qualified for and I'm making more money than anybody else. So that's what God can do. And many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. So may my life, may my life, and may your life, um, be a testimony of the goodness of God and may people see our lives and want to trust in God. So that's my prayer and I pray the same for you. But yeah, I'm going to practice now because I don't want this video to be so long. So um, I will see you tomorrow on New Year's Eve. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, so it's officially December 31st, it's New Year's Eve, um, so I'm on my way, to, well, I'm going to go to church now, so I'll record when I'm there and you guys can get the full experience of it all. So I tried to do my makeup today, um, I have on a headband, my sister sells these, and I'm just wearing white, and okay. <laughs>
officially January 1st, 2021. We made it to a new year. Um, I didn't really get to vlog a lot um, at church. We actually got to church late. We got there when it started. My mom was supposed to be part of like the choir, but we got there late, so she didn't get to be part of the choir. So I was like, as soon as I got to church, um, I had to change into my dance clothes because we were late and I was going to be dancing right after the praise and worship. Um, so yeah, I was really nervous. I hadn't danced since September and it was actually my first time dancing um, at that church in a very, very long time. Um, I felt like I was about to fall twice when I was dancing. I forgot some of my choreography, but it's fine because it's just me dancing, so nobody knows the actual moves. Um, yeah, I got a little emotional when I was dancing. Um, as I was saying before, the song talks about um, seeing the glory of God. And, and I was saying yesterday, like, you know, as I'm dancing, I'll be praying that, like, you know, God will change my story and I will see the glory of God. But as I was dancing, God, like, reminded me that, hey, like, I did um, give you a new story. I did already um, part the Red Sea for you. You know, I did show you my glory. And it just reminded me that sometimes we're so focused on the things that we want, you know, like a different financial situation or a healing or relationship that sometimes we end up forgetting about the things that we have now. So that's something that I'm gonna work on more in 2021, just being thankful for everything that I have now. And 2021, um, I really wanna draw closer to Christ. I wanna be more disciplined in the things of God. Um, like, I don't wanna just read the word because I need to, you know, I need to do my good thing of the day to read, but I actually want um, to have encounters with God through the word and for the word to be um, engrafted in my heart. Um, also, I have some like financial goals that I want to reach this year. And yeah, 2021, um, it's on and popping as I used to say. And you know, with God with me, all things will be possible. And I can't wait to see what God does on this YouTube channel um, in the years to come. So, bye everyone. Happy New Year.